Hi everyone. In this presentation, I provide a short demonstration on how to test and probe the interaction involving two continuous predictor variables when running regression analysis in Stata. First, I will regress student achievement onto measures of interest mastery goals and performance goals. Mastery goals will be the focal independent variable, whereas performance goals will be the moderator variable. Student interest will be a covariate in the model. Next, I will probe the interaction by generating, testing, and plotting simple slopes. Uh, let me just kind of note a couple of things. First off, when we run our analysis, we are going to find that the interaction term is not statistically significant. And ordinarily, you would not probe the interaction um, if it is not statistically significant in your regression model. However, the focus of this video is mainly on procedure rather than what you might actually do um, substantively uh, in a research situation. Secondly, the data for this presentation and this text file that contains various notes will be made available as links underneath the video description. So do uh, check it out. So let's start off by looking at our data. So I'm going to open up Stata. The data has actually already been imported and I'm going to go under the Data tab, Data Editor, and, and go under the Browse mode. Now under this mode you can see that we have our dependent variable achievement and we have our focal independent variable, which is mastery goals, our moderate, moderator variable, performance goals, and then we have a covariate in the model, which is interest. So rather than using the drop-down menu, which you could do to run the regression model, what I'm going to focus in on is just using the command language. So what we're going to be doing is putting information or commands down in this line at the bottom of your screen. So to begin, there are a couple of ways in which we can run the regression analysis. We'll start off by using the regress command, followed by the name of the dependent variable, which is achieve. You'll see that following that, what we do is we enter in the names of the independent variables and any interaction terms. So you can see we've added the covariate, interest, mastery, performance goals, and then at the end of this line right here, you can see I have C uh, period, mastery, pound sign C period performance goals. So the C period for each of these is indicating that we are working with a continuous variable and when you're uh, putting in the pound sign and forming the, our interaction terms we have to designate whether our variable is continuous or a factor variable. So the C period is indicating that these uh, variables are being treated as continuous. If we don't uh, include those prefixes then we'll end up with an error message. So that is uh, basically one way in which we can run our analysis. Uh, an equivalent version is to use the regress command, again, followed by the dependent variable interest. And now you can see that rather than typing in each of our uh, mastery and performance goals uh, variables that are used to form the interaction term, in this case, we still have our C period prefixes, but you'll notice that now we have two pound signs. And so uh, in this case, it will build um, uh, into the model um, each of the independent variables as well as the interaction term. So let's go ahead and take a look at what these uh, two uh, sets of commands would, pr uh, would produce. So what I'm going to do, instead of typing all this in and taking a lot of time, I'm actually going to uh, copy this and paste this into the command line. So that's our first version and as you look at our output you can see that we have uh, first off, over here, we have our ANOVA summary table. We have our F test and P value. We have the R square value that's given. Everything that's typical in a standard regression model. Down below, you can see we have the covariate and then the regression slope, standard error, T value, and P value. Uh, we have um, each of the effects for mastery goals and performance goals. Uh, but then the interaction term is really the more important part. Uh, of this model and you can see that we have our p-value right here indicating that our interaction term is not statistically significant and as I noted before typically if the interaction term is not significant then you pretty much stop at that point there's no point in trying to probe the interaction but we are again going to walk through uh, steps to do this next up let's just take a quick look at what the other one would look like so in this case we're just going to include um, the interest variable along with uh, the C period mastery, pound pound, C period performance goals. And so I'm going to copy this and paste it into the command line and you can see that we end up with exactly the same uh, output. 
So let's say we are probing the interaction and we want to generate and test simple slopes. So we can use the margins command along with the dy dx option to obtain simple slopes of the independent variable on the dependent variable at three points representing a low score, medium score, and high score along the moderator. So this is the classic uh, pick a point approach. So I've actually already uh, created the points um, for us, but uh, basically what we need to start off with is to obtain the mean and standard deviation of the moderator variable. So we can use uh, a summary function, so we're just typing in sum and then inside parenthesis the name of the moderator variable which is performance goals. So let's just go ahead and do this. So I'm just going to type in sum and then inside parenthesis P-E-R-F-G-O-A-L for performance goals and hit enter. And so now you can see that we get the mean and the standard deviation. And I apologize uh, that the uh, font is uh, very, very small on this, but um, I haven't really found much of a way of, of uh, altering it. So I'm just kind of going to walk you through this and, and talk about what I'm finding. Um, nevertheless, you do have the data and you should be able to walk through this uh, yourself. So at any rate, now we have the mean and standard deviation. And so what I've done in this particular case is I've taken the mean of the variable and subtracted the standard deviation. So that's just basically the 35.0564 minus the standard deviation of 19.6449. And that gets me a low point on the performance goal measure. Then the median point is basically the mean on the moderator variable. And then the high point is basically taking the mean and adding the standard deviation, which gets us a value of 54.7013. So once I find those three points, then I can use the margins uh, command. So I, have, I type in margins, comma, and then the dy dx, and inside parenthesis, the name of our focal independent variable, which is mastery goals. Following that, I type in at, and then inside the broad parentheses, you'll notice I type in performance goals. That's my moderator. Equals, so there's our equal sign, and then inside another parenthesis, we have our three points along the moderator. So we have basically the 15.1445, that's our low point. We have a space, the mean of the moderator, which is 35.0564, space, then we have the high point, which is the mean plus the standard deviation, which is 54.7013. Again, we have to close out this uh, set of parentheses right here, then close out this parenthesis right here. So make sure that you have enough uh, end parentheses to do the job. So let's go ahead and copy this and paste it into our command line and hit enter. And so now you can see that we have our simple slopes. So this would be at the low, medium, and high points um, in terms of the performance goal measure. So you can see one, uh, this is the 15.1445, that's our low value, medium value, that's actually at the mean on performance goals, that's a, what the number two represents. And then the number three is at the high point, so that's the 54.7013. So you can see that all of these regression slopes are positive and all of them are statistically significant. So in all cases, um, basically what we are finding is that the relationship, the predictive relationship between mastery goals and achievement is positive and statistically significant. So oftentimes, in addition to uh, generating and testing simple slopes, we will want to plot out the simple slopes. So basically to provide us with a way of visualizing the interaction if there is one. So we do need to obtain the mean and standard deviation for the independent variable uh, as we did with the moderator variable. So we've already done the moderator, so I'm not going to rewalk through those steps, but we're going to use the sum function and uh, request essentially the mean and standard deviation for the mastery variable. So what we'll do is we'll go into the command line right here, we'll type in sum, and then we'll type in mastery inside the parenthesis, and then um, hit enter. And so now you can see we have a mean on mastery of 2.854, Standard deviation is 1.399, so that's it right there. So I've already created, based on uh, that information, the, the low point, medium point, and high point for mastery goals. So essentially the mean minus one standard deviation on mastery is 1.454849. Um, 
the medium point on mastery, which is just simply the mean, and then the high point on mastery is the mean plus the uh, standard deviation. So that produces a value of 4.253315, uh, excuse me. So in this case, we're going to use the margins command again to generate essentially predicted values at each uh, combination of uh, low, medium, and high points for the focal independent variable and the moderator variable. So I have margins, comma, followed by at, and inside the parenthesis, we're going to type in mastery equals, and then inside another parenthesis, we're typing in the, uh, the values, the three points. Um, so that's uh, low mastery, medium mastery, and then high mastery, and we're separating, you know, keeping a space in between those. Then we end that parenthesis. So that's the first parenthesis right here. Then we uh, basically type in a space and then performance goals are, are uh, variable followed by an equal sign. And then inside another parenthesis right here, we have our low, medium, and high points. And then in parenthesis, and then we have to close everything out. So basically, this last parenthesis is closing everything out um, uh, following the at uh, option. So then once we've done that, then we just type in the margins plot command and then we will get our plot. So let me just go ahead and I am going to copy this and paste it into the command line and hit enter. And so now you can see, looking at this, you can see expression linear prediction, uh, the predict, predicted values at, and you can see each combination uh, for mastery and performance goals. So all of those, um, the actual predicted values are found in this table under margin. So you can see at one right here, there's predicted value at two right here, predicted value and so forth. So there's the one, two, and so forth. And if we click on more right here, the, the remainder of the table comes out. That's probably less interesting than actually getting the plot. So I'm actually going to now type in margins plot and hit enter. And so when I do that, now you can see we get our plot of the simple slopes. And so you can see, once again, in all of our cases, that basically uh, individuals who are low in performance goals, medium in performance goals, and high in performance goals, uh, in all cases, there was a positive uh, predictive relationship between mastery goals and achievement. And basically, the fact that the lines are parallel is totally expected, given the fact that our interaction term was not statistically significant. So that concludes this uh, walkthrough of how to test and probe interaction effects in multiple regression using Stata where your uh, independent variable and your focal independent variable and moderator variables are both continuous. Thanks for watching.